Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, we're gonna be doing this, uh, I don't know, golf cart or uh, tank car type thing um, with our IO blocks. So we've done the two fish and the one robot. Now we're gonna do this vehicle. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you guys are gonna need. I'm gonna put that to the side um, and grab these materials. For our wheels, we're gonna need eight of these, okay? So eight of these, I'm gonna have to slide some of them off the camera. Um, in a little bit. Two of these H's, the ones with the curved uh, edges. Eight of these lowercase H's, right, in red. Four of those lowercase H's in green, okay? Two lowercase or um, uppercase H's in red. Two uppercase H's in green. Four of these Y's, the ones, uh, the white Y's, the ones with the really long uh, body and the two little stubby arms. And then four of these um, sticks, poles, okay? And that is it. So we're gonna get started. And basically we're gonna build from the ground up. Um, we're gonna start with our um, wheels in order to get the rest of our body connected. So I'm gonna push everything to the side with the exception of these eight uh, wheels and these four, uh, I'm gonna call them axles, okay? So we're gonna do uh, one of these poles. We're gonna stick it into that square right there. We're gonna take another one of these and stick it there and it's gonna make it kind of look like a wheel axle with two wheels or like a dumbbell, like if you're gonna work out, right? Okay, not too heavy, but um, we're gonna go ahead and use these. We're gonna do four of those. So stick another uh, one in there, make another axle, there's two, stick one in, make another axle, that is three, stick the last one in, and fourth axle, okay? So now you have four uh, wheels that we're going to be using. So that's going to be these pieces here. Now, there's a piece that is going to connect your wheels up to the body. That piece is gonna be this white piece here, which is gonna be those white Ys, okay? And I'll show you how that's gonna go now. So you're gonna grab these white Ys or the ones that look kind of like an Eiffel Tower, right? You're gonna take it, you're gonna go sideways to fit into that slot. It's gonna go into your white piece with that hole right there. So it's gonna slide into place, click it all the way down to where that is a smooth edge. Those curves line up, smooth edge, okay? And you're gonna do that for all four. Slide the Eiffel Tower or the Y into place. Same thing and same thing. Okay, and boom, there you go. You have your four axles with your four wheels, and um, now you have these stems that are gonna stick up, that are gonna allow us to stick uh, the body of the car or vehicle on the actual um, uh, wheels. So, next thing you're gonna need is four of these lowercase h's. Now. I'm gonna put them to the side like this, and I want you guys to set it up in this exact same way. I'm gonna put them over here so you can actually see it a little bit better. Um, in this exact same way, so you guys know exactly how I want your lowercase h to go, okay? Notice the stem that it sticks up on the h is on the inside and it's facing the inside of the vehicle. Same thing here, it's on the inside and on the inside. It's not on the inside this way and on the outside this way, it's inward on both ways. So it's facing this way and it's facing this way. These face in and in, this one faces in and in this way, okay? So if you put them like this, is the easiest way to get it correct. All you're gonna do is pick it up and attach that missing piece to that 
white piece, okay? Boom, and it's gonna stick right on there. You're gonna do that for all four. Okay, and if you keep it in this formation and not all scattered, you'll actually be able to see it starting to come together. So now we have this stem that's gonna allow us to continue building that body up. Now, in order for us to get these together, they're not gonna go together now because they have no way to um, connect, right? So we need a piece to connect them. That's where these green H's come in, okay? So you're gonna take the green H, the uppercase, right? Without the curve, we don't want the curved, we want a full blown H. We're gonna stand it up to make it look kind of like an I, right? And you're gonna slide that in place like that. And it's gonna connect these two. I don't want it flat like this. Yes, it will connect them, but that's not gonna work for the design that we have, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and slide it onto one side to where it looks like this. You have your wheels, you have your lowercase h, and then you have your uppercase i. And then you're gonna slide this one in there. So if you lay it down, everything should be touching the floor or the table, and you have that. That's what it looks like. Same thing, you're gonna take this uppercase i, slide it into place on both of those, and now you have your axles are completely uh, finished. Now, these are gonna be a little loose, so they, they will slide on you because they're not completely secure. They're not gonna fall, right? But they will swivel if you touch them in a certain way, okay? All right, so now that we have those two things, now we're gonna start on the actual body. So we have this entire thing done, but now we're gonna go ahead and get the height. So we're gonna do these. This is a lowercase h in red, okay? And you need four of those. So we're gonna do four lowercase h's, okay? And then we're going to have the stem on the inside and on the inside. So it's gonna be like this. If I turn these sideways, your stem's gonna be like this. Okay, let me move these a little higher so you guys can see it on the screen a little bit easier. Okay, so now that you have these four, you're gonna take one, pick it straight up, slide it over this green all the way on the corner, okay? All the way on the corner. So I'll take it off and I'll do it again. So you're gonna pick it up and you're gonna slide it right on this corner, okay? So it's gonna meet the edge of that green. So now you have this little green box coming out of the side, okay? Kinda looks like a chair. You're gonna do the same thing with this one, but you're gonna put it on the other side of that green uh, piece that's sticking out right there. So now you have this where it has the two fronts, okay? Both sticking out in the back. All right. Let's move on to this. That's gonna be a little too heavy, so it's gonna fall, so I'm just gonna lay it down, okay? All right, next thing. Same thing on this side. You want to slide this up on here, but you want this stem to be on the back side, right? And not on this side. So wherever the eye is, I don't want the stem on the inside. I want the stem on the outside, okay? Put those two there. And then those two will eventually be able to stand up next to each other like this. But they're not going to be able to stand up. Oh, well. All right, there you go. They stood up. Um, now, so since you have those four stems, now we can connect it to make the body stick together. All right, 
So let's go ahead and take a look on exactly how we did this. Those are the H's that we just put on, right? These four, that one and that one. And how we did that was now the stem that's sticking up, we put these lowercase H's that are in green on top of that little stem, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put that to the side. You're gonna grab your four lowercase H's in green, okay? And you're going to lay them aside like this. Again, as always, your stem is going to be on the, oh, this side. Yep, we're going to be on the outside. I'm sorry. These two have to be on the outside and this one has to be on the outside. So this time we're going a little wider. Okay. <clears throat> That's just going to give us more of a dimension as far as the bulk of uh, the vehicle goes. Okay, so we're going to pick this up off the floor or the table. And we're going to slide it right on top of that stem. It's going to go right in place. All right. So there's one. And pick this up. Slide it here. There's two. We're going to do the same thing here. Pick it up. Pick this up. Slide it on that one. Okay. So now we got to connect them. Since we have an area to connect them, I want it to be like this, but connected, right? So we don't have anything that's going to connect yet. What we're going to do is we're going to take two uppercase H's, okay? And we're going to slide one, like if it's an I, on the corner here of this green piece. Then we're gonna take this green piece and slide it into that spot. So now it all stands up on its own, right? I can pretty much spin this however I'd like. Just popped out one of the wheels, okay? But I can pretty much spin this however I'd like and it stays together. To secure it more, put the second H in the other side. So I'll turn it around so you see that side again. I'll take it, make it a capital I, right? Capital I. Pick that up, and it's going to slide right into that empty spot right there. Okay, so now it's a lot more secure. We could be finished with that, but I don't want that to happen. I don't want it to, like, be flimsy. So the last part is the two lowercase or uh, uppercase H's or uppercase I's, but the ones with the curved corners, I just think it's gonna look a little bit better um, instead of everything being so flat. So we're gonna go ahead and take this and this is gonna sit inside of here. If you put it inside that little slit right there, there's a slot, you put it inside there and then you press it forward. And if you press it forward, it goes on to the ends of this H. So now it does that and it holds that together so it doesn't go forward. I can pinch it hard and it's not gonna collapse in like it did before. Same thing, I'm gonna make it a uppercase I. I'm gonna slide it into that slot, okay? It's gonna be a little tight, so you're gonna have to wedge it in, okay? It kind of falls into place, but now we gotta push it um, here. It's gonna be a little tricky, so maybe you gotta use the top and the bottom, but you're going to slide it into place there, okay? And that is pretty much it, you're done. Now, the cool thing about this little uh, car, or go-kart, uh, whatever you wanna call it, okay? The wheels move. So if you wanna make it look like it's turning left, make it seem like it's turning left. If you wanna make it seem like it's turning right, kinda of move it. Make it seem like it's turning right. All wheel drive, if you wanna do it like that, do it like that, okay? Now you're driving in certain things. Now the pieces don't actually move or rotate, but um, now you have um, either um, stationary wheels or you can turn it into um, something that's kind of turning or curving. So yeah, that's our vehicle, our first vehicle with our IO blocks. Um, we're looking forward to doing some more.
and uh, learning how to build things on our own. This wasn't in the manual. This was not in uh, on the app. Um, this was just something that uh, uh, me and a couple of students were uh, playing around with something, and I ended up uh, turning in uh, turning um, something into a, a vehicle. And uh, uh, so I just made a video so I can actually teach it to the class, and that's where we're going with it. So um, we'll be doing more. Uh, videos like this as far as uh, things that are not on the app for IO blocks, but I will be giving you guys uh, tutorials on some of the um, the apps, um, creatures and buildings and vehicles and such. Um, so look forward to it. I hope to see you guys in a little bit and I'll be making some more videos like this as well. Have a good one. See ya. Bye.